And we've got a got a big challenge this week. We're getting better. You know, I I, I always want to see. I think think that right now that um, App and and Arch State and and Georgia Southern are playing at the top of our league. So th I'm I'm interested. I'm excited to see kind of how close we are. This week's going to be big. You know, I spent a lot of time with some of the Greek students last night, encouraging them, showing our appreciation for them for for supporting us and. And I think it's important that we come out for this last home game, not only for our seniors, but it's a, it's a huge game. You know, we're, we're really putting an emphasis on finishing this year strong, and hopefully our home fans will come out and support us, not only on campus, but in the community as well, and in Dothan and Montgomery. Oh, that's great. It's always a great atmosphere playing here at Troy. Um, I love coming home and playing home games. And uh, it just felt good to be back home instead of having a long trip. I think we're getting better. I know we're getting better as a football team. Uh, our guys are playing with a lot more confidence. Um, we got off to a quick start on Saturday, which I thought was crucial. We forced six turnovers, you know, and and we we, we that's something that we stress on a day to day basis. And it's starting. We're playing better defense, and what I mean by that, we're anticipating things better. Like Farmer's two picks really were preparation things, things that he'd seen on film, and he was able to jump those balls. Um, we scored two defensive touchdowns, which I think anytime you do that, you're going to have a chance to win. We had zero turnovers. And like I said, same thing with the six turnovers on off, on defense. If we don't turn the ball over, then we, we've got a really good shot. If you look at the games we've lost, particularly in league, we've turned the ball over, and that's been the story of the game. Uh, we played with good tempo. I'm disappointed we didn't finish drives in the red zone. We had to settle for three field goals where we should have should have been able to punch it in and get touchdowns. I think we um, we really showed up with a lot of energy, and um, it just we had a couple of big plays early and it really sparked the team. And um, after that, it just kind of kept rolling on like that. I think we like where we are, so we we just want to keep focusing more of the process. Coach always re reiterates that with us, um, not being outcome oriented, but process oriented. So next play, one day at a time, one game at a time. Last two games at home, we haven't played good at all, and uh, thank thankful we uh, came back and it was, we put on a pretty good show for the fans who actually stayed. You know, when it was raining, so uh, it was it was pretty good showing for us. George Southern six and two. You know, they've only lost one Sun Belt. Uh, game in two years, so they've they've been dominant in league games. Um, they'll be well rest, well rested. They haven't played since October 29th, and this is going to be the uh, third game in conference that that we've played that the opponent has extra days rest coming into our game. Uh, it'll be the fourth overall uh, the opponent that we've played this year with extra rest. So. You know, schedule makers didn't do us any favors on that deal. Offensively, if you talk about them, and, and I think that's where people like to start when you're talking about them, they are an option-oriented team, but they're not uh, a Georgia Tech-style option. They're a gun-based option team. Uh, they spread you out. They use a lot of different motions, a lot of different formations, unbalanced formations, uh, and they try to get you into one-on-one -on -one tackling situations. And, and they've got some guys that can make you miss. Their quarterback, Kevin Ellison, can really run. Uh, he does it. He does a, a very capable job of throwing it as well. But he can run. He makes you miss. And then Matt Breida, the 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 running back, the quarterback Ellison, 7.5 yards per carry, and the running back's nine and a half yards per carry. So if you want to know why they run the ball a lot, if I, if if our guys average that too, we'd be running it every time. Defensively, they're near the top in 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 scoring defense. I think they're around top 35 in the country. They're a veteran unit. That's what jumps out to me. They got. Nine of their 11 starters are either juniors or seniors, so they've played a lot of football. You know, everybody wants to talk about them on offense. The thing that jumps out to me when I watch them and then when I look at them on paper is special teams. And when I talk tell you about their numbers, you're going to feel the same way. Um, they're sound in all phases. They've blocked three field goals and they've blocked three punts. Um, they're first nationally in both of those. Um, they're ranked number one in the country in kickoff coverage. They're 21st in kickoff return. They're third in punt. 10th and punt, punt return and uh, so that I mean they're pretty salty on special teams so and I think that's always a sign of a, of a really well coached team is guys that uh, that do a good job on special teams